Everybody, we are excited to have you here. So let me go ahead and get my video started and I suggest you do the same. Um, little tip for everybody, by the way, bonus one of tonight's session. Um, just give me the thumbs up if you can hear me right now. Thumbs up, please. Thumbs up. Yay. Love it. Gabor is participating. Love it. Love it. Um, so little tip for everybody on here tonight. Whenever you do a video call, what you want to do is make sure as many times as you can, you've got your video showing. And why do I say that? I say that because video builds trust. What you can see you trust, right? So that is something that we want to make sure that we're doing, not just on our team calls, but also on our prospecting calls, on our presentation calls as well. So let me just quickly greet everybody who's here. I see I see all the Annas, all the Annas from all the different countries. Hi, hi, hi. Um, Annika, um, Bernadine, great to have you on here. Bogdan, Brendan, Fla, Istvan, Magnus, Maria, Monica, Janos, who else we got? Roland. Hey, Roland. It was great to see you in uh, in Venice. Zahira, Aisha. Oh my God, I love that name. Aisha, écoute moi. Such a good song. Again, more Anna's Torkel. So great. So quick thing. What is this call about? And you may want to text some other people to just jump on this call if you haven't already messaged them. So this call is all about a recap of the weekend that we've just had. The incredible training that we just had with about 200 people in Padua, near Venice in Italy. So if your team was not at this event, and they are free right now, they are the people that you wanna get on this call with you because we're gonna be sharing information that came to us from that event. We're gonna be sharing the excitement, the feeling and hearing from some people that have had breakthroughs as well. So we can't wait to hear from them. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna share my screen right now. Uh, do you know what's funny? I've got two laptops here and keep picking up the wrong mouse. That is not my mouse, that is a mouse for another computer. Um, Here we go, share screen, there we go, there we go. By the way, who liked the video that I just shared? Who liked the video that I just shared? Anyone? Anybody enjoy that video? Yep, that was our escape video. So we did a little escape in Venice before our event, and that was an absolute hit. We will be having another escape released shortly for our next upcoming event that will be in Budapest. So stay tuned for that. So little recap. Uh, can I just get a thumbs up from people if they can see the screen, by the way? Thumbs up, Sylvie. Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah, seeing the screen. Awesome, there we go. So the event that we just had, that was Playbook. Um, it was a fantastic event. You know, we had training from the field. We had training from Isaac. We had Matt Morris. I suddenly realized I might be yelling at the computer like you're a million miles away. So let me just tone it down. Use a different kind of, different kind of voice for you right there. Um, oh, and speak slower for translation. That makes sense. Right, that's what Efrasini was trying to tell me. She's like, stop, and I thought I was too loud, but I'm too fast. It's because I'm excited. And I'm sure you guys are all excited as well. So we also got to hear from Matt Morris and Jesse at Playbook as well. So we were represented by 17 different countries um, from 200 people all over Europe and also Africa attended this event as well and some people from South America. So three different continents came together as well as the execs who are from the USA. So I can even say four continents in the room, which is absolutely beautiful. And we had incredible Ioana and Octavian put together some incredible team events for us. So not only did they organize a culture day before the event started where we hired gondolas for 120 people to experience the best of Venice for these people to really get in the boats 
or the gondolas, I should say, that would be a bit more, a um, bit more Italian. They got on the gondolas and we had some champagne, which was beautiful. We were each given a beautiful Italian chocolate, um, little bracelets as well, which were just really, really sweet. So it was a beautiful touch to kicking off our event. And then they did an amazing leadership dinner, which they also organized for us, which was Royale and above. And I just want to say this for everybody on this call right now. So if you were um, a Royale and above, I want to see you in the chat right now. If you were at that leadership dinner, let me know if you were at that leadership, leadership dinner. I'm clicking on the chat to see who was there, right? If you're Royale and above, well, we're upping the stakes for the next one. We're upping the stakes for the next one. For the next leadership dinner, you're going to have to be gold and above right so we're always raising the bar um and as you know the executive joined us on that as well so you want to make sure if you want to be on that leadership dinner this time you're going to have to be gold so we've done it you know low bar this time now we're raising the stakes for the next event so now is the best time to get building so that you can be included on that leadership dinner and get that vip private time with isaac with mazafa and tracy who's going to be there as well um, and then they also did a final closing party for us, which was absolutely brilliant, where we had unlimited pizza. That was really cool. We had a lot of fun. I had some spritz. I know everybody had a really good time um, at that event as well. So I believe everybody felt the love of this event. We felt community. We felt coming together. We cried. We laughed. We got excited. We danced. We did so many good things at this event. Um, and so here's a picture of us all wearing our Venetian masks. Some people even went the full way with huge outfits standing outside the San Marco Basilica in Venice. Um, and as you can see, we've got our club secret good life representation right there. Um, and we're all having a good time. And that's really what Club Secret is about. It's about coming together with love in our hearts as a community and having a really, really good time. So if you missed this escape, if you missed this event, I'm telling you, don't miss the next one. It is too much fun to miss out. And you know what? Life is short. So you've got to make these memories while you can. Um, we got to hear from Isaac Ben Shabbat, our co-founder and CEO. And for those of you that haven't heard Isaac's story. For so many of us, Isaac's story is the reason we've fallen in love with Secret. And tonight I speak about love um, constantly, right? I'm constantly talking about love. And a lot of you would think that love is not a leadership word, but it is. Love is really the foundation of what our organization is built on. It's about a family coming together. It's about a family that was in difficulty, that had a bunch of losses, a bunch of difficult life circumstances, um, that really struggled originally, and they came together and they gave an opportunity to their friends and family. And then with those friends and family, they went out and built a billion dollar retail company. And then they saw the same opportunity come up through network marketing. They said, do you know what? We built a retail company by inviting our friends and our family to participate in an opportunity where they had to pay their own way to participate in that opportunity, come from Israel to America to help us sell different products. And now we've got the same opportunity here in 2011 to transform this company into network marketing. And hearing that story from Isaac's heart and the troubles that they went through and how they stuck together as a family through it all is really what makes so many of us fall in love. And I believe that Isaac is really um, planning on being there in Budapest with us. So if you haven't met him yet, he's one of the most humble CEOs that I know. A lot of CEOs don't remember everybody's name. Isaac certainly does. And I this I can't tell you how much I love about this guy. You know, he just he sees heart. He sees potential and he works with people like I've never seen before. Like just to explain to you how he can see a situation, see into somebody's heart, see maybe where they're struggling and speak directly to their soul so that they believe in themselves again and feel like they can be part of something bigger than them is incredible. For me, when Secret got into me was when I met Isaac for the first time. I flew to the USA. So we didn't even have an event in Europe, by the way. It was the middle of the pandemic. I had to buy a whole new nationality passport 
in order to get into the USA. And uh, yeah, I met Isaac and he said one thing to me that made me say, this is hope. First day that I met him. And uh, that's what I hope for all of you guys as well, that you really get out there to Budapest and meet Isaac. And so we just had the Valentine's Day promotion. Let me see you in the chat if you purchased or helped somebody purchase a Valentine's Day pack. So I'm looking at the chat right now. I want to see who participated in the Valentine's promotion. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Let me see in the chat if you participated in the Valentine's Day promotion. Let's have a look. Yes, Betty did. Of course you did, Betty, because you are in fire. I love that. Who else participated? Okay, waiting on the chat, waiting on the translation. Yes, Sylvia. And so for those of you that might have felt that you missed out, here's what you can do. Because we know, we know that sometimes men are a little last minute, right? Like they can, they, they can be, if there's any man on the call, I'm sorry, that's been my personal experience with, with um, seeing guys around the world. Usually they start thinking about Valentine's Day on Valentine's Day. So quick tip, if you have any products at home, right, which you haven't sold, Valentine's Day is a great time to retail those products out to the men that have forgotten about their ladies. You will be wearing the uh, angel wings of that day and save the day if you can help them send something exactly stellar. That's exactly what you do every year. So for everybody else on this call, just be available with something for them if they've forgotten, right? Um, let's go to the next one. Travel like a pro. This promotion, by the way, is crazy and it's until the middle of this week. And you know, I had to call our CEO of Europe just to clarify this when he first announced it, because I, I was so sure he got it wrong because it's so crazy. It's so crazy. So enroll one new agent with a pro pack. One, not, not, not two, one. One new agent with a pro pack between 17th to the, of January to February the 16th and you qualify for a getaway. That's a free holiday. You, you, you qualify for that. You get a free holiday. You've earned your holiday if you sell just one professional pack. So Sylvia's already done it. Congratulations, Sylvia. We're looking forward to hearing from you in a moment. Um, and then we've got, actually, before we move on to this part, I'm gonna leave this just here. What I'm gonna do right now is I actually wanna head over to our participants and ask Bogdan from Italy. Um, absolutely love this guy, by the way. I won't tell them about our closing night party, Bogdan, but what I would love um, to do is hear about your experience of the event. Let me just bring you up. Here you are. I'm gonna unmute you now, and if you share just for two minutes with everybody how this event was different for you, what you got from it, um, that would be incredible. So I've just asked you to unmute. Hello, everybody. Awesome. Go ahead. Nice. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. We don't for hear the... you. Can you turn your volume you... up? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Just a second. So you're unmuted, but we don't hear you. Just a second. Maybe if you're using headphones, yeah. check the ha your Zoom audios on your headphones. Well, on he's good. Bear with me, everybody. Oh, everybody hears him apart from me? Maybe it's my headphones. All right. Put the AirPods on. Right, okay, I'll be right with yeah, you, everyone. Yeah. Everybody here's book down. Has Bogdan finished talking? Because I can't hear him. Thumbs up. Okay, give me two seconds, guys. Just some technical challenges.
Hello, everybody. I'm back. So can I get a thumbs up if you can hear me? And can you see me? Okay, so two thumbs up. I'm so sorry. Got to apologize about these um, technical difficulties. Now, Bogdan, did we hear from him yet? Yes or no? Thumbs up for yes, thumbs down for no. No, we want to hear from Bogdan. He's excellent. So I am bringing him back on right now. Hopefully I can hear him as well. Here you are, um, Bogdan. I'm about to unmute you. Can you hear me now? Yay! I'm so sorry. Wow. I'm the only one. Okay, fantastic, cool. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for this beautiful experience. What I must say that it was one of the most emotional events that I participated in. My first event that I attended uh, in person was in Dubai in 2021. And from that moment, I said, uh, uh, I will never miss ever again an event because it's so powerful, so changing life. Um, and what we did in Venice, I was five times in Venice in my life, but I never, never, never had such a beautiful experience, a VIP experience, I must say, because um, thanks to those clothes and to uh, uh, our community, uh, there was a lot, a lot of people, all the people I can say that were in Venice were there asking us for photo, what is Club Secret? So we made a a very huge and big impact on all over the people that uh, were there in that moment. And in every step that we had uh, uh, from the pizza to um, the, um, the private, the leadership dinner and every single place to the hotel, every single move, it's a life changing because the people see our energy, see our um, happiness, our smiles, and uh, they want to know, they are very curious. And these events, especially what uh, Jesse, Jesse did um, Saturday evening was, uh, was something that touched my heart and uh, changed me. Every single event changed me in better. So uh, for that reason, if you didn't uh, see an event yet, come to see one because you will uh, turn back home another person, a better person in all, every single part of your life amazing thank you so much Bogdan and it really truly is every single part of your life something that I've certainly valued from uh our company is friendship over the years you know like me and you our paths would probably never have crossed if it wasn't for a company like this and you know we even got to have breakfast together at Milan airport you know back in November and it's these are like the friendships that you build that you really live for, you know, especially in difficult times. Like we all got so lonely during the pandemic. I feel that this community really gives us something deeper and something really, really special to enjoy. So now let's go to France. Bonjour, bonsoir. Um, Killen is going to share with us his incredible experience in just two or three minutes from not only the secret escape, but also about the incredible action he's been taking since he's come out of the event. Do we hear him? We don't hear you, Killen. So I feel like, let me just justify this for everyone. Zoom changed their settings. So I feel like- yeah, we hear you tonight. Okay. There we go. That's awesome. Let's go, Killen. Okay, sorry. Uh, hello, guys. I'm so happy to be here uh, with you. I'm sorry I don't speak very good English, but I'm really happy. Uh, I want to say thank you, Efrazini and uh, Melanie, for your time. You are a very good leader. Uh, today, I want to speak about uh, the escape. I love it all, uh, the organization, uh, because uh, George Adamides, uh, he sent an email before the escape. And, uh, and it's very good in the uh, organization. Uh, we hate in very good restaurants. I love it all. <laughs> this is my uh, third escape. And uh, after for the training, uh, it was my uh, 38th training. And uh, I really like uh, more the energy and all. And uh, today I do uh, the action plan about Matt Morris. And uh, let's go to the ninth days blitz I'm uh, really 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 uh, sorry I take my I'm really really excited and I have my uh, action plan 
I see uh, my action plan. I start the 90 day blitz since uh, 8 February. And uh, today I uh, called uh, Android 30 person. I uh, took uh, 48 no, but I love no, because if I have a lot of no, I can have a lot of yes. <laughs> and uh, I did uh, seven presentation and I, I registered three person. And uh, my uh, goal is uh, gold for Budapest. Uh, today I'm uh, royal. And uh, let's go. I want to see a uh, five person minimum on my team on the stage in Budapest. I'm really, really excited. And uh, see you in Budapest, guys. Thank you. Wow. Love, absolutely love that. So something you said about our trips, organization, email beforehand. So he felt like he knew exactly what was going on. That's absolutely great. And then also his action. Um, let me just say this. He'd shown seven people so far. So he's done a lot more invitations than he's done presentations, which is how it should be. Out of seven presentations, he's got three new people started. So that's almost 50% conversion ratio after the training. Everything's how you're looking at it, right? So almost 50%. So great job there, um, Killen. So now let's head over to Hungary. See ya, Gabor. We're just going to ask you to unmute right now um, and share your experience of how this event was different. Hi, guys. Good evening. Can you hear me? Oh, excellent. Okay, fantastic. So... Just the way Bogdan said it in the beginning, it was one of the most emotional events for me. Actually, last two years, definitely absolutely best, best even since we are here with Secret. Uh, I mean, the last events were really good too, but this one was just very emotional and uh, very inspiring as well at the same time. I mean, oh, the whole atmosphere in the room was, was just so warm, you know? I mean, everything was just in, in the right place. And to be in Venice after, like, I was there last time, 25 years ago, to, to do the gondola ride together, that was, that was really a, a really amazing experience also. And uh, all the trainings, I mean, we were very lucky to get Matt Morris uh, here in uh, Europe to have those trainings. I mean, they were just really amazing. And Jesse's training, just the way Bogdan said that uh, Saturday night, the closing night, that was just so emotional. But the Sunday closing training from... Uh, Matt was also very emotional. So, I mean, you guys need to be in the events. You need to be there all the time because network marketing, we build this whole industry from even to even through events, you know? So this is the only way you can grow in this business. And your paycheck is, is always depends on how many people with you on the event. So more people you have on the event with you, more money you make, you know? So that's the first thing I really understand in network marketing. And this is the one thing when I'm talking to people uh, about the industry or I'm talking to my people in my team, um, I'm not joking when we are talking about the events, you know, this is a must if someone wants to work with me. And uh, this is a must if you want to be successful in this industry. So, I mean, we had a great time. I can't wait for the next event. I cannot wait to go to Italy with Efrosini. I mean, this is going to be awesome to go to Bergamo. And uh, we're going to have the regional training with you, uh, Melanie, in the 25th. I already told the Swedish team if they can come over, fly over to Budapest because we're going to have a great time. It's already spring. It's going to be a nice weather. So we should have a great weekend together. And everybody who's nearby can come over to Hungary in that weekend because we're going to have a great time. And also in June, we're going to do the Freedom Academy in Budapest, which is a big thing for us, for Hungarians, because we get this big opportunity to fill up the room. So, you know, it's a pressure zone, but we take it. Thank you. Amazing. Thank you so much, Gabor. I personally can't wait to be back in Hungary. Um, with you guys and I think we've definitely got some um, some exciting numbers to strive for over there um wow like I just I just like, like you guys can see we're all excited on this call I just love um what we stand for and as good boy said you know what the event was emotional in a way that I think a lot of us haven't felt before but it was good emotion it was release and love and friendship and uh 
I'm not usually that emotional person, by the way, like for those who know me, like I'm not usually like huggy, huggy, lovey, lovey. I'm usually like, okay, let's get the job done. Um, but this just lit up all of our hearts in such a, such a different way. So that was, that was amazing, Gabor. So I literally can't wait to see you again in your home city. So guys, if you haven't booked your home events, or if you live near to a country with one of these home events, which Efrasine will share with you in a moment, then get booked tonight. Do not wait to get your ticket because we are planning on selling these rooms out. You want to make sure that you're there so that you get that information firsthand as well, so that you don't have to be the person on the recap call, um, but you can be the person that has people in your team on the recap call. So now let's head over to Cyprus and hear from our other platinum. Again, congratulations, Gabor, on your platinum status. Recognized you on stage. Let's hear from our other platinum, Stalo. So let me just unmute her. She's ready to go soon. Hello, everybody. This is Stalo from Cyprus. I'm so happy to be with you again. I'm sorry I had the camera off, but I was cooking, but I was listening every single part of you guys said. What I would like to share with the last uh, training, it's the amazing moments that we live in this room. Guys, whatever, I, I cannot put into words the feelings, um, the decisions made in this room. It's like we're, we're getting so close to each other. And uh, the way I experience that is like, when you feel the power of the team, you can achieve everything. It's amazing. It's so the system is so different from the outside world. Outside, you're all by yourself, and actually, you have the fear that whatever you do wrong, people will get on you. If you do something wrong, somebody will achieve better, and this is not going to your own benefit. Here, it's a different world. It's like we work as a team. It's a win-win situation. And actually at the, at the training, we have the chance to experience this community, the love that Melanie keeps saying, and especially after meeting and spending time with the CEOs and owner, there is no words to put into, it's amazing. I was saying earlier to Frosini, one single, just let you a very small example. I was talking with Isaac and I suggest that it would be great to have uh, the doctor in one of the next training Dr. Harkon, since we are not hearing from him very often, I said, you know what? We, it can also be live at a screen like we did in Dubai. He cannot, if he cannot make it to Europe, I understand. While I was talking to him, he was on his phone. And he said, when is the next training again? And I told him the date, June 16th. And I said, in two minutes, he texts him and he said, done. Probably he'll be there in Europe. And I had no words to say. I just made a, you know, a thought that it would be nice to have him since we know so much about the skincare, but we, 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 we would like to know more about the health products and our supplements. And I was shocked. I mean, in two minutes. So it's amazing how, how close he is to the audience, to us, and he's listening to us. He wants to know what we need from the company. And it's amazing. This is a connection that we guys can, can have at the training. It's different if you meet those people in person. So whatever, I mean, there's not any other place that you can have this connection and feelings with a, a CEO, as, as Melanie said earlier. They're so approachable to every single person. Amazing. So this is what I would like wow. to share, Melanie. Wow. Beautiful, thank you, Stella. So a couple of things I wanna just highlight from Stella talking. So. This is something really important for the moms out there. She said, I was listening to every word, but I was cooking at the same time. This is something I love about our business because the moms are busy. They've got kids. They're putting the kids to bed. They're being the taxi driver of the kids. They're cooking. They're doing the laundry. Some of them also have a job while building this business as well. But you know what? They're squeezing the dead air from their time. They can be on mm -hmm. this call while cooking. They can send a few invitation messages while waiting for the children to come out of their classes. You know, they're able to fit this business in part-time to build a full-time generational income that can set their kids up. So that was just one of the things that I loved. And then another thing, I actually just have my phone here. Um, and it's a message I want to share with you from Ari, our CEO here in Europe, that I was just messaging him today. I said, we feel very loved. And he said, you are loved with all my heart, dear, with a little heart afterwards. 
did you did you ever have a CEO send you a message like that? I certainly <laughs> didn't. I never had, first of all, a CEO know my name before, but to send me a message with an emoji, like I'm getting emotional now. <laughs> he sent me an emoji because we, we have talks, right? Like the first time he came to Cyprus, I cook him lunch, he came to our house and uh, he said to me, you used to text message me then you didn't text message me anymore I'm like yeah because I don't know how serious you are because you don't put any emojis in your text and he's like okay. <laughs> but from now on I'm putting the emojis so you know like you see how many I, I don't know whether you can see but there's like so many uh I don't, don't know whether the phone's going to show up but there's so many love hearts there you know because he knows that I'm able to read the text when it has emoji that's another learning lesson for us today. And I feel like we're getting a lot of bonuses from this little call. When you invite, emojis are important. When you're text messaging through um, prospects or like, you know, a lot of us use text message as a, as a medium through messenger, through WhatsApp, all of that. You want to match and mirror the person you're speaking to. So if they put a lot of emojis, you put a lot of emojis. If they put a lot of exclamation marks, you put a lot of exclamation marks. So you're making them feel recognized and loved in the way that Ari did for me, right? But it, it works, it works, okay? So watch how somebody's responding to you and respond in their voice back. It's gonna make your communication so much easier. And so now we come to the last little trip that we're gonna take to Hungary. We're gonna hear from, um, Sylvia, she's over there. We also recognized her and she spoke for the first time at the ladies training. So Sylvie, please go ahead, share with us in two or three minutes your energy from the event. Go ahead. Okay, I'm trying my best. I was so ready to talk and I, it's so hard for me to sit in here at the table, you know, because I want to move around. And uh, let, me, let me tell you something about this uh, family thing. My daughter, uh, little bit about her studying is a little bit weaker than last year and I told her come on you can't you can't miss it and you learned you learned so hard and she said come on mom I don't worry because uh, you're gonna do a fortune fortune I see and uh, I'm gonna own this later when you I'm like what so I'm gonna build for her building for her the business that's why she thinks but anyway uh my, it was my first time in the stage and I was so excited. I was crying, everybody crying. I was so emotional. And I'm not that kind of person who's crying in front of everybody and hugging. I'm, a, I'm not hugging person. And I'm hugging everybody and everybody make picture, take picture with me. And I felt myself a rock star, really. And my team is just so ready, so ready. And you have no idea how much work we put, put to this business. And we love the whole family thing here. And... Uh, and thanks for Gabor and everybody just so we so family we so um, with such a power and I'm so happy to be here at the next event event in Budapest I'm sorry I'm so excited I can't talk so that's what I feel I'm just so excited and everybody have to come and feel this what we felt over there and thank you so much for the supporting and thanks to having me bye Wow, um, that's actually something that we love to do at our events, guys, is we love to recognize people for their efforts. We love to make you feel special when you've achieved. And that's one of the highlights of our events is we get to people that have worked really, really hard. So if you haven't yet been recognized on stage, let's make it happen for you at the next event, right? I know that was you know, a really beautiful moment to have Sylvie there on stage. And for so many other people, they got an opportunity to be on stage as well. You don't have to do anything crazy to be there on stage. In fact, we even recognize the smaller ranks as well. And we want to see you there. We want to see you there. So if you want to be there, just let us know. Reach out to myself, Efrasini, go up, find your leader and let us know. I want to be on stage and we will make that plan for you. And we will execute it with you, not for you, with you. So let me just go back to sharing my screen again right now. But just before I do that, let me see in the chat right now, who is participating in the Club Fit Challenge right now? Right now in the chat, go ahead. If you are currently participating in the Club Fit Challenge right now, Anna, congratulations. Great job, Zahira. Hey, over there in uh, Holland. Pia, great one. Mola, great one. Killen. Me, for me, the first time. Great, great, great. Awesome. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and share. Where did my screen go? Here it is. Share the screen again. I still see all of you guys. That is good. You still hear me. So Club Fit Challenge. Okay. So this was an announcement which was made, right? So we now have a Club Fit Challenge, which is available 
in the back office all the time. And the next Club Fit Challenge starts on the first Monday of every month. So the next one that's going to start is going to be March the 6th. So what does this mean for us? Why is this? Why is this so exciting for us? Is it exciting because we have to uh, get disciplined every single month and participate every month? Maybe if that's what you need, but that's not the point that I'm trying to make right now, okay? So the point that I'm trying to make right now is every single month is an opportunity for us to speak to somebody who wants a body transformation, right? So I always know like my first week of every month, this is the package that I want to be talking about, right? This is going to be an important time for people to participate in this. Now, I actually um, went out and did this the first time and did it so that I would have a testimonial for those I was going to recruit later. Now, I worked really hard. I managed to achieve the top place. And there were some awesome prizes. And we're going to be giving prizes away on every single one of these challenges. So I encourage you to lead by example. If you haven't done this Club Fit Challenge yet, what I love about it and something which was um, really, really great is I maintained how many of us have done a diet plan or a lifestyle change before? We did it, we got the result, and then we didn't keep it. Right now, it's seven, eight months later. I'm actually a little bit less than when we first did the challenge. And I don't say this to show off to you, but more to impress upon you, you don't have to keep doing it every single month because you learn the lesson. For me, the most valuable thing about this Club Fit Challenge was the nutrition training. The nutrition training, because you learn once you keep the knowledge for life, right? Recipes, it's on an app, it's on your phone. It tells you the habits that you need to keep every single day. So if you haven't done this yet, do it for you and do it for your future customers. Like don't just do it to change your own body, but do it for your future customers who need to change their body as well, right? So when you go ahead and you purchase your pack, you're going to get $100 worth of product credit to spend on our nutrition. So the nutrition is going to support you through the club fit as well. They also have workouts in the app. Um, I have a great time. I love this app. I'm a big fan of fitness apps, and this is absolutely brilliant. Um, they have a Telegram group, so I'm not sure. It, there we go. See what I did just there? I moved everybody's face into the middle so that you guys can get that little QR code for the Telegram group. It's staying there for three, two, one. Make sure you've snapped it. Awesome. Um, and then we've got the Facebook page and the Instagram page as well. Um, and it's eight weeks. It's just 60 days. So in 60 days, you really can have a full transformation. I was able to lose 51 centimeters of my body in total and a total of 6.3 kilograms in just 60 days. So if I can do it, you can do it because all I did, here's a crazy thing. All I did was follow the instructions. I didn't do anything more than that. I really didn't. I just followed exactly what they told us to do. And here's the thing, if you follow the exact instructions we give you in network marketing as well, you follow the recipe for success, you're going to get there too. And so guys, this is this is my half wrapped up right now. I think we've covered some great points. Let me just see in the chat um, what your biggest point was right now. And then I'm going to bring Efrasini up to share the rest of the recap um, with you. So let me go ahead and see in the chat um, what your points were while we're waiting for Efrasini to jump up. Okay, so go ahead and share the points. All right, all right, all right. Amazing. Guys, I think that you probably felt the energy from the webinar tonight, you felt the energy if you were a playbook. It's something that is really, I feel, has shifted in Europe since this event. There was an electricity in the air, there was an energy in the room that I know everybody felt, and I felt it was almost like a relaunch of Europe. Because whenever you start a new business, and let's face it, I know some of us have been working together for a number of years. But Secret in Europe is now going in its third year. 
is still a baby, right? Some of you are a few months old. Some of you are a couple of years old. Some of you are three years old. Like you're going into your third year right now, okay? And when you start a new business, whatever business that may be, there's always going to be three phases. There's the phase where you're launching the business and you're getting to know it. You're getting to know the products. It's almost like you're in student mode, right? You have to learn the products. You learn how the money works, the compensation plan. You learn the presentation. And as you're learning this, and of course, the more activity that you take, the faster your learning process is. You know, much like if you're getting a driving license, right? If you want to go and get your driving license, and let's say you go in for one driving lesson once a week, by the time that next week has come around, you forgot half the stuff that you learned in your driving lesson, right? Because it's been a week already. So much has happened in a week. So the next time that you go for a lesson, what happens is that you almost have to refresh what you learn before you pick up where you're at the last lesson that you did. And if you do one driving lesson a week, every single week, it may take you five lessons, six lessons, maybe 10 lessons to get your driving license, right? I know everybody learns differently, by the way, but let's say it takes you 10 lessons. Well, 10 lessons once a week is 10 weeks, isn't it? Three months. But what if you go to your driving instructor and you say, I want to do one lesson every day. Still one lesson, every lesson is one hour. You're still learning the same things every single hour. But now instead of taking you 10 weeks to get your license, it takes you 10 days. In fact, what I can tell you from experience, it's not gonna take you 10 days. It will take you even less. Because if you do a lesson today, and then you tomorrow you come back to do a second lesson, you don't need to refresh everything because you remember what happened yesterday. Are you guys with me? You follow me, right? Okay. Same in this business. This business is like a car, a very sexy, fast car. And a sexy, fast car is much more fun when you're driving it fast. It's much more fun when you're driving it fast. And if you're doing a presentation every single day, by the end of the week, you already know how to present. Whereas I see people when they do presentations and they go, I'll do one presentation a week. And then the following week, they're ready to do a presentation and they're just as nervous. And they forget what to say at the beginning because they know what to say last week, but it's been a week already, right? Now, during the training, Matt Morris shared something very, very powerful and it's called the 90 day run. And the 90 day run to give you an idea guys, is something that I've done less than five times in my career in 14 years. Less than five times. And in, even though I've only done it less than five times, because I've done it properly, every single time that I did it, my business exploded. Let me give you an example. The first time that we did a 90-day run was... From September 2009, it was in my first year. The first few months I was figuring things out. I had no system. I was showing people. I was working three different things. I was busy. But every spare moment I got, I was inviting. I was presenting. Sometimes I would do a presentation on the train, you know, <laughs> in between meetings. I would be calling people on my way to meetings and saying, hey, look, I'll call you on the lunch break because I was catching a train to go up to Scotland for some business meetings or going up to Manchester and I was living in London. 
And on the train, I was doing presentations because I had so little time, but every single spare moment, I was doing presentations. But I, I had no system. It was just whenever I could, I would fit it in. I had a little bit of results, but it wasn't crazy results. And then I came across this 90-day plan that Matt Morris spoke about in September 2009. From September 2009 until February 2010, which was five months, within a 90-day blitz, we had such great results. We kept going. We put in over 1,000 people in the team. Okay? Because I did a 90-day plan properly it was systematic okay it wasn't maybe i'll fit it in this week maybe not okay so i want to share this with you and i'm going to spend the next few minutes talking to you about it and i know some of you guys were a playbook maybe you already started that i know some of you already started your 90 day plan but even if you think you understand the 90 day plan i want you to just re-listen to the information because you may take something different even if you choose not to do the 90-day plan at the end of this, by the way, guys, take the philosophy and do it for 30 days. Do something with it, okay? Do something that you can commit to. Anybody can commit to something for a short period of time. It may be 90 days, it may be 30 days. We started with 90 days and we went for 120 days and it was 1,000 people. Okay, so how did it all start? Well, firstly, whatever you track duplicates, right? You guys, those are a tracking sheet. Let me show you this tracking sheet here, okay? This tracking sheet here, okay? I have a tracking sheet like this that I have been using since 2009. If you ask me, literally any month, and I do it over 30 days. If you ask me a month between 10, you name any month, believe me, I'm coming to your city over the few months, tracking sheet, and I can show you what activity I did for that month. And I'm sharing this with you because when I made a decision in September 2009, I didn't make a decision to try it. I made a decision to do it professionally. And I'm not saying you need to be full time to do this, guys. When I started the 90 day blitz in September 2009, I still had three other things I was doing at the same time. It's not the time, it's the consistency. Even if you can only do one presentation a day, every single day, six days a week, make it consistent. Treat it like a job where you have to show up. The problem with network marketing is we don't have a boss and some of us need a boss. Some of us need somebody, you know, to go, hey, you didn't come in for work today, okay? And I know we teach people to create freedom so you don't have a boss, but sometimes you need to be your own boss and treat yourself the same the way that you would hold somebody accountable that was your employee, that you were paying them good money. And you may not pay yourself good money at the beginning, but when you put in the work, one thing I can tell you, there's always three phases of this business. First phase is the student mode where you're learning, 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 learning. You can make some money where, while you're in student mode. You're learning and you can still make some money. The second phase is now when the money starts coming in because now you know what to do, but you still need to think about it a little bit. You know, you get an objection from someone and you're thinking, okay, how do I answer it? So it's still in your mind you have to take a few seconds to think about it. Now you're starting to see the money coming in. But I'll tell you what, you may still be working very hard for the money that you're making. 
these two first phases, unfortunately, is when most people give up. At the beginning, when they're in student mode, and they're like, oh, my student paycheck is not that great. Yeah, of course, because you're still in student mode. At the second part, where now you're producing, but you haven't got the duplication yet. So if you don't work, your team doesn't work because you're still in that production phase. The third phase is the most exciting phase, but many people never get to see it because many people don't have the patience to stick around long enough and keep doing the activity to enjoy the third phase, which is the leader phase. The leader is when now you've got a bunch of people in your team that are also producing and whether you're there or not, your team is producing without you. And at that phase is where you make so much money and you cannot believe how much fun you're having and you're still making crazy income. Now, I'm sharing this with you guys because pretty much all of us right now, including me, are not in the third phase. Now you're thinking of foreseen it, but you're a blue diamond. I know, but it doesn't matter what rank you are. It matters what your vision is. Blue diamond is not my vision, guys. Some people may say, hey, look, if I make three, $4,000 a month, I'm happy. I'm not talking about the money. My vision is 1,000 first-time millionaires in my team. That's my vision. 1,000 first-time millionaires in my team, in Melanie's team, in our team. You know why? Because when you have a thousand first time millionaires in your team, you're also gonna have tens of thousands of other people that are making five figures, six figures, and you're gonna have hundreds of thousands of other people having a better quality of life because you go out and you pay the price and you stay the course and you keep impacting lives. That's why right now, if anything, we're not slowing down, we're speeding up right now. Take this document and start tracking everything. How many invites are you doing every single day? How many personal presentations are you doing every day? Okay. I love how some people go into team exposures and going, oh, I'm helping the team. I'm helping the team. But because they're not in personal production, at some point, the team slows down. Every single one of you right now should be doing a lot of personal presentations. 80% of your time should be in personal production mode, personal presentations, helping personals. 20% should be on helping the team. Okay? None of you have a team of thousands yet. Yet. Okay? When your team becomes of thousands, that will slightly change, okay? How many people have you personally enrolled into the team? How many has your team enrolled that you played a part in? If you were not there doing the presentation, it didn't count. How many no's? Now, please note the no. The only no that counts is when they've seen a presentation. Sometimes I see people going, hey, are you open to a new opportunity? The person goes, no, I'm not open. And they go, oh, I, I got to no. know. No, you didn't. They didn't see a presentation. Okay. And no is, I've seen the presentation. I like the information, but this is not the right time for me. And no can turn into a yes later. My question when someone tells me no is, Great, thank you for taking the time to check out what I'm doing. I'm really excited about it. Is it okay if I keep you updated every 90 days of my progress? I'm gonna say that one more time. Is it okay if I keep you updated over the next 90 days of my progress? Now here's what I've done to myself. Now I'm holding myself accountable. Because now my job is over the next 90 days 
to build something so powerful that when I call my friend in 90 days and go, hey, by the way, in the last 90 days, my team grew by a hundred people. I have three new people that hit a rank where they're making, you know, an average income of $2,000 a month. I've got another person in my team that is at this level and we're planning for a trip to Budapest right now where I'm taking 50 of my team members to Budapest for a training. How's life with you? Now, I promise you, I've been doing this for almost 15 years now. When you keep doing this with people long enough, people realize one of two things. Either they realize that their life is not changing and your life is changing, and maybe they need to join you for their life to change, or they stop answering your phone. Either way, it doesn't matter. Okay, because if they stop answering your phone, it's because they don't want to hear of somebody else succeeding because their life is not moving forward. And that's okay. We leave them for now. But a lot of people realize that if I want my life to change, I need to surround myself with people that are doers, that are changing their life. And when they see your life changing, you know what you're also doing is you're showing them that because you've done it, you can help them. That because you've shown them that it's possible for you, it's also possible for them. Guys, our activity helps people to build belief. Either build belief that they were right for saying no, or build belief in you, okay, for showing them there's a better way. One or two things is going to happen. Now, where is this team size volume? So that means start tracking. Did you have new sales in your team? How much did your volume go up by? Guys, does everybody here on this chat, okay, on this call, know how to check the rank meter to see where you're at in order to achieve the next rank? Write yes or no in the chat. I just need to know. If you know yes, how to check your rank, write yes. If you're not sure, you have no idea how to check whether you're moving for the next rank, write no. Yes, 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 yes. Perfect. Okay. So most people know. Amazing. Okay. Now, if you know then the thing that you always pay attention to, today is Sunday, right? Then you should know that tomorrow is not Monday. It's called Money Monday, okay? It's called Money Monday because on Monday, it's our opportunity to finish the week strong so we can collect the money next week, okay? It takes about 10 days to get the paycheck. What we do today and tomorrow we get paid, not this Friday that's coming, but the following Friday, right? The bigger the week you close, the bigger your paycheck in 10 days. So if let's say, for example, my week that is gonna go away is 5,000 QV, if I wanna go and advance my rank, then I need to do more than 5,000 QV this week, okay? Now, some people have messaged me no, okay? And I understand, right? Not everybody knows this, but what I'm going to do is that over the next few days, as we launch this 90-day blitz, and guys, you have the opportunity to be a part of this blitz, either for 90 days or 30 days. We will start for 30 days. If you want to be a part of this blitz, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a messenger group on, uh, actually, does everybody here use Facebook, by the way? Write down if you use Facebook or if you use Telegram. Facebook or Telegram. Facebook or Telegram. Facebook, yes, yes, both, both. Mm-hmm. Okay, bomba. 
So what we're going to do is that if you want to be a part of this, guys, the 90-day blitz is simple, right? Or the 30-day blitz. We will launch a 30-day blitz to start with. In order for you to participate, you need to do two things. Number one, track your activity using this sheet, okay? As I shared, how many invites, how many personal presentations, how many team presentations, how many new team members, whether it's personally or the team, how many knows, what's the team volume that has increased today? Because even if you've got a team member that is not new, but you help them to place an order by 200, 400, 500, it counts, right? And how many new people did you book for the next event? So number one, you track your numbers. Number two, is you show at least one person per day. One presentation per day is the minimum. 30 presentations over the next 30 days. If you think you can commit to those two things over the next 30 days, I'm going to create a messenger group called 30 Day Challenge. And I'm gonna send this to your leaders and they're gonna share this with you. And anybody that wants to commit over the next 30 days, you send a request and you will be added, okay? And all we're gonna be doing over the next 30 days, I want you to post your win for the day. So let's say, for example, you did a presentation today, send a picture of you with your prospect, presentation done, boom. You did a registration, post the picture. We wanna celebrate the activity. Okay, guys, I shared with you the first time I did this 90 day blitz. The second time I did this 90 day blitz, I went up two ranks. The third time that we did this 90 day blitz, we we're in our previous company. And during that 90 days, I went up another two ranks. And it was actually our biggest months falling after the 90 day blitz. The year that we went really, really, really hard our income tripled that year. The last time I did the 90 day blitz is when we started secret. First 90 days was literally with the phone, presentations, morning, afternoon, night, middle of lockdown, massive action. And that's how we basically achieved Blue Diamond. Right now we're launching a new 90 day blitz, okay? You don't need to be part of it for 90 days, 30 days if you want. Start with 30 days and see how you go. Let me ask you something. If you've ever been one of those people, guys, that started something, didn't follow through, said that you're going to do something, but didn't do it in the end. You know, if you're one of those people that said, you know, I'm, I'm tired of being in the same situation, being in the same rank, being in a yo-yo in terms of income, income goes up, income goes down. Maybe you're tired of working the job that you're already doing, okay? Whatever it is, find something that whenever you think about motivates you so much that every single time you think about it, you pick up the phone and you make another call. Maybe it's the fact that you're tired of going you know, to your parents or maybe it's your spouse and they keep saying to you, come on, how's your business going? How come you're not successful yet? Maybe it's your brother-in-law. Maybe it's a friend of yours that you showed secret to and they're waiting, watching you to, to, in order to see you fall. And you want to prove them that they made the biggest mistake not trusting you, not following you, that they made the biggest mistake to underestimate you. Whatever it is, think of at least three reasons you want to go and do this challenge to prove something to yourself. Yes, it helps for everybody else, but more importantly, prove something to yourself, okay? We got many reasons why we want to do this, but one of the biggest reasons is because I believe that the European market is going to be one of the biggest markets for all of Secret. I believe that when it comes to Budapest, the next event, that we can sell this out if it's 500 people, and I believe that we can sell this out if we focus on the right energy, 
track the right activity and stay consistent over the next 90 days until Budapest comes around. And in fact, in order to be able to do that, guys, what we're going to do is that we're also doing a tour over the next few weeks. We're going to be in Italy. Let me share this with you. We're going to be in Italy, in Bergamo, myself and Gabo on the 18th of March doing a training there. I believe there's already about 50 tickets sold, something like that. We can put at least another 50 to 70 people in that room. And we're going to come over there and we're going to create a massive explosion over in Italy. Then in Budapest, Melanie Blue Diamond is going to be in Budapest on the 25th of March. Okay. Again, right? That room fits 150 people. Hungary, sell it out. Okay. I'm telling you 150 people is nothing to have people in your backyard, to have a blue diamond fly in and teach you step-by-step step exactly what you need to do to make this business fly for you. On top of that, we're looking at France, Greece, Romania. There's a question mark there. Why? Because those countries, it's up to you to create the fire so we can come and put gas on the fire. If your country is not listed, then you need to step up as the leader of your country, as the pioneer of your country, so we can put your flag on the map as well. It's within your control. Stop waiting for somebody else to step up and say, let's do it here. Be the one that steps up and goes, I want it in my country. I can get 30 people in a room. I can be the next leader of this country. Doesn't matter what leaders were there before, guys. Right now, there's a bunch of empty slots that show next platinum, next ruby, next diamond, next blue diamond, next crown. Who's going to be the first crown royale in Europe? It's all within your control. Guys, I'm telling you, we're about to light things up. Thank you for tuning in. If your team was not on this call, I'm going to be posting the recording in the next 24 hours. Get them to watch the recording. And if they want to participate in this challenge, I'm going to create the group. I'm going to send it to you. Guys, don't push them to participate. Listen to me carefully. I don't want you to, for example, to call Stalo or call Killen or call Eliza and go, Eliza, you need to do this. No, 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 no. Eliza, I'm doing this. I'm looking for the ones that want to step up and do this with me. Do you want to be a part of it? She says, yes, I'm ready. Great. Let's go together. I don't want to push people to push their business. I want to work with the ones that are willing to push themselves. Remember, we're not looking for the ones, okay? We're not looking for everybody. We're looking for the hungry ones. Some people want to walk, we will walk with them. If they want to run, we will run with them. We're getting ready to run, guys. Thank you for tuning in. It's time to light up Europe. See you at the next event and see you on the 30-day challenge.